Holy fucking shit. The energy of that track. It's like you're fucking possessed. Fuck the fight, fuck the light. Bitch, I'm about to swerve into the toe. Both and scrape the chains. Bring out your dead and blame it. It's just driving me the whole way through. And the voices that they make and the flows they use just get more crazy and deranged the more the song goes on. Remember to comment down below, of course, like how you feel about this album, how you feel about how I feel about this album. You know, in a mature manner, hopefully. Of course, it's always uh, comforting when you have a lot of comments that are people that are saying, yo, yo, you're gonna listen to this again or you missed this, because obviously if you've watched our channel a lot, you know that I'm not the lyrical side of the, of the duo. Action. Don't run with scissors. How are you feeling today, Sandals? Uh, he's not quite here yet. He will be on the next video because he'll be back from the US. He's fucking awesome. I'm, I'm super pumped to have him back. Uh, yeah, I wanted me to get to Suicide Boys and uh, Sandy's already heard it. And I was hoping to, to do it with him, but of course he's been away. So hence why we've missed, th missed things like uh, the Carter 5, uh, Logic Young Sinatra 4, and of course, uh, Lupe Fiasco's as well. Now, I have promised to do these, but due to, I've been quite sick the past two weeks. I still am quite a bit sick. So I've been super unfortunate with my health in the past past few weeks and also with Sandy being away. So I think what we're gonna do is, um, I know Sandy's listened to these albums. I haven't listened to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, listen to them in my own time. And then we're gonna do probably reviews on them. So instead of like, because time is just a, Time's a big thing for us, so I'm thinking we're just gonna review them in that, in that aspect and include snippets maybe of uh, some some stuff with that. Suicide Boys, I Want to Die in New Orleans. Cause I know the Yah wanted this and I did promise this one the most. And I had organized to do it time and time again, but I kept having cancellations, uh, work calling in, and then of course getting sick eventually. So I just had a lot of uh, bad run luck with this one. So fuck it, I'm gonna do it by myself. First, first one we do my so let's get into it. Uh, I want to die in New Orleans. Let's fucking get it. Just pure instrumental so far. I ain't even mad. Get him, Ruby. Ten thousand degrees, first track, and a little little mixed feeling in there. I'm actually getting Sparkmaster tape sort of production vibes in this one with the with the chopped sort of sample throughout this whole track. The dun 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 dun, dun. and um, I'm sort of a bit torn by the verse in a way. Like I'm pretty sure that was a uh, slick on the second verse and Ruby on the first. I quite enjoyed Ruby most of the time on the first half, but then I I don't know like. I get, I get it that's their style to sometimes have that sort of lifeless approach to it, which is kind of what is drawn to a lot of people here. But uh, I know, like, I really love the production here. I love, I love that sound that they're coming up here and with the, with the, the keys that keep coming back in and the, the sample. But uh, I just, I don't know the verses just didn't really agree with me here. It was kind of, just kind of was missing that thing. But I don't know. Let's get to the next track and see how we feel about it. It's pretty seamless. It just flows straight into the next track. I love when albums do that. Sheffield, my name. Uh, I'm a uh, tangly tits. Ah, it's me name. I'm 
map is stupid motherfucking question No pity needed for me to go up on my bike You know I had a weapon And you know the game, my obsession No side shot it off the porch Sipping dip, little sick Wanna quit, life overrated as shit Every day One hundred and twenty-two days, a uh, much better track. I mean, the production still was amazing as the first track, but I just thought like uh, their their vocals fitted a lot better here uh, to me, uh, especially when the the beat really kicked in with Scrim's verse. Like, and um, yeah, I'm even like looking up a bit of lyrics and stuff, and it's really interesting because they've always these two artists have always had a fuck ton of different names, and it seems like even with the verses, they're giving themselves each each names and stuff. And there's always been rumors as to like how these artists like truly died in 2016 with because of um, what they did then like because they're always evolving and having different personas and personalities all of that like on different tracks so I wonder if we're gonna get a lot of um, that on this album production wise as much as uh, what they're talking wise but uh, I prefer this track a lot more it hits hard uh, and the singing hook from I'm, I believe I'm hoping that's Ruby on there is like real fucking nice uh, even has like a slight sort of pop appeal to it in a way it even has like some of them southern sort of uh, metallicness to it as well so at the moment production wise this album has been quite solid fuck with this one it's a good one ask your K&B pharmacist for a three dollar coupon good on your next new or transferred prescription Yeah, I'm kind of really torn at the moment with this album because I'm I'm loving a lot of the production here, but once again, I'm I feel like Scrim was kind of like very lackluster again here. I mean, he did bring it back towards around the middle of his of his verse, but I know he's just feeling super lackluster. And I think Ruby was really good. His flow was very reminiscent of like what we've come to love about Suicide Boys in the beginning. A little less interesting than the first two tracks, in my opinion. It was kind of a bit more predictable banging, but I guess that's what you come to Suicide Boys for in a way. I fuck with that, that's fucking dope. A lot fucking better. That shit dope. Yo, uh, much better track. I thought Scrim was amazing on there. He really liked the way that he uh, had the high pitch vocals and came back with his more deeper tones, especially with that production, definitely suited him more, definitely was feeling him a lot more there. Even if it was reminiscent to how he's been sounding so far on this album, I thought he sounded like, even though he still had that sort of Life as approach, I had I heard a lot more within him throughout this track, and it really brought it to life. Uh, start to finish, really good track. I'd rewind that one again. Definitely one of my favorites so far. Let's keep it going. Aye, aye, aye. We ain't gonna hear that again, sadly. Oh, shit. 
I should go. God damn! Oh. That shit. I mean, I know like nearly all their tracks cra tracks will go off, but that track's gonna go especially off when they perform that live. Holy fucking shit! The energy of that track—it's like you're fucking possessed. It's just. It's just driving me the whole way through and the voices that they make and the flows they use just get more crazy and deranged the more the song goes on and you just stuck to it. Uh, best track so far. Fucking insane. These are the sort of tracks as to what drew me to Suicide Boys in the first place. They just, the more the tracks go on, it's not just the, the production doesn't need to do more because they just know how to carry it with their voices. Perfect example here. Fucking amazing track. <laughs> Where do you got that southern sound going? Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck with this sample. Shit slaps. When it started off, I was thinking that, oh no, we're gonna get like another more of them generic tracks, which is gonna not do too much, but it changed. The tempos changed. Everything changed. The sampling they used changed. And they had this sort of chopped and screwed southern sort of feel within the middle of it to the ending where they got that new one out. Like, really, really cool way of uh, structuring on this track. Uh, love both of them on this track. Once again, another another good track. Can't, not as good as the last track. Last track was fucking insane, but this one, still really fucking good. Strangely enough, I think Scrim's part on here was probably the most um, entertaining on here. I know the hook from Ruby wasn't... He's very hit or miss with me with his hooks lately. I don't know. It was... I, just, I don't know. Maybe it's going to need a few more listens. If you could remember to comment down below, of course, like how you feel about this album, how you feel about how I feel about this album. You know, in a mature manner, hopefully. And uh, of course, it's always uh, comforting when you have a lot of comments that are people that are saying, yo, yo, you got to listen to this again or you missed this. Because obviously, if you've watched our channel a lot, you know that I'm not the lyrical side of the, of the doer. It's more sandy. But because uh, I always pick it up on the third or fourth listen. That's just how I do with music. But uh, fuck. That's it. I'm going to the next one. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Pretty sure we reviewed this one already. Uh, should be on link. From memory, I didn't like it that much. Honestly, probably the weakest track on this album, in my opinion, because it's very hook heavy 
And I don't think the hook's that good. I think, as I said before, very hit or miss with Ruby with these ones. And uh, I do admit he hits a lot of nice vocal pitches, uh, more so than usual, but I just don't think it really fits the overall sound of this album or just a pleasing one at that. Yeah, not still, even with another listen, not a huge fan of this. I will review this track more so in total. Make sure to check that one out. And next we've done Carrollton, which was the track that I really liked and I've actually listened to a lot. So, uh, yeah. This is good. Yeah, we've already uh, reviewed this track, me and Sandy and I. Me and Sandy and I. Double the Sandy. Double the Sandy. Um, I really fucked with it. He liked it, but I don't think he went back to it. I've been back to this track a bit. Make sure to check that review out. It's still dope as fuck. Definitely one of the best tracks in this album. It's hard as fuck. Keys are beautiful. What they gave to this world while they were here was unexplainable. You know, we're all here, maybe today we can share some memories. I know I give off a standoffish vibe. <laughs> I don't feel uncomfortable. You talk, come up to me, we'll talk about the boys. See, I'm sure that if I was paying attention to more what they were actually saying, then I'd get the ending of that track. Kind of a snoozer in a way. Production was once again quite nice. Like I said, I love the keys on there, super magical. But I just feel like the verse is just... Uh, didn't really do much for me. I really just was sort of falling asleep throughout that track a lot. And towards the ending there, like saying how they've, um, they're dead and they're celebrating what they've done with their lives. Like, I'm sure that plays in the part of what they've been talking about, but I'm a fucking mess of picking up shit. Yeah, let's see how the next track goes. It's a long one, seven minutes. <laughs> Where was this the whole album? This is sick. That last track, there was so much going on. And I would have loved it if the rest of this album took kind of a similar approach of more mixing instrumentations and uh, all the things that were in between there. Really cool switch ups. I love the, the one where there was like a lot of static going on, really complimented all the flows. And even the way the scream ended on a real dark tone of just like 
how he just feels like he's losing with like all the shit going on around him with life, just life in general. Even though things may be going like your way, like it just, you know, it still feels like it's going south. Definitely, definitely probably gonna need more listens with this album just to really see where it sits so I can just really go back into the lyrical sides of things. From a first listen standpoint view from production wise, uh, they really hold true uh, to what makes them Suicide Boys, but at the same time they do experiment with a lot of new sounds and a lot of, uh, I guess, new directions in a way as well. So it's, I think the fans are going to really enjoy this one because there's elements of what's to love, but also if you're looking for them to change a bit, then there's, it's kind of like lean sort of towards, like especially with their next album, like what, could they do something with some of the sounds they fuck with it? I really like when well, they switched up with that like acoustic and they set like on the second sort of beat switch on this last track. It was kind of like, like, an, like an old rock punk sort of song in a way. <laughs> I don't know the feeling you had, but... Uh, Fuck, that was a really, really dope last track. I'm going to say probably the best track this out. Best track for sure was uh, Wartime All The Time. That track was fucking dope. I probably like like five tracks on this album in total, really. Like ones I would go back to regularly. So most of this album I didn't really dig, but that's more so because I just felt like that it was lacking in terms of the energy, what they can bring to the table. And I guess... I was expecting a bit more maybe with some of the beats on this thing because they didn't switch too much. But when they did switch a lot, I fucked with it. I love a lot of the Southern influences throughout this album. You can hear that prominently. So it's kind of like very Southern trap styles. Like I said, I'm going to need a lot more listens. I can't really judge it too, too much. But on a first listen, it's not as good as all their previous work. I think I love how we're seeing a lot of growth in ways, but at the same time, it kind of feels like it uh, falls a bit short of where that growth should be. That's just how I feel. Jungle Beats, I can't wait to get back to you with more videos of me and Sandy back in the booth, in business, doing our thing. Bye. And I'm uh, sorry this one took so long to get to you. Uh, like I said, I'm still feeling fucking pretty half-assed. So I'm, uh, I'm going to do the best we can. Yeah. Leave a, like I said, leave a comments below. Give us a like. Subscribe if you haven't, if you dig this. Also, if this is the first video you've watched from me, there's normally another person around here. And we really enjoy doing this. We love music. So it's been an incredible year. This year's been this year's been absolutely incredible. Bye.